Hello beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. We have an incredible love reading in front of you, the Oracle's Gift. So there is some sort of magic afoot in this relationship. We see for our Aquarius friends that you're using your third eye right now. Your intuition is very strong and endless possibilities. Everything is possible within the range of this connection. We see the overall energy from the mundane standpoint from every day. Both of you are bringing this very nurturing queen of uh, Capricorn Queen energy into the reading. You both want to make this work. We also have the Spirit of Cups, the King of Cups energy. You're both very, very grounded in terms of practical life, making things work, making it happen. The Mummy card of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, is, um, you know, the Capricorn energy. And we have Scorpio love. So both of you are rebirthing at a period of time in your life in which your, you know, it looks pretty stressful, but the reading looks good. So what I see here in the recent past between you and your beloved is giving up burdens. Oh my gosh, 10 of wands is clarified by the 10 of wands, releasing a burden. Both of you have been in this energy of not wanting to make a choice about a third party situation. For now, this is where it diverse, you know, this may not be your reading because what I'm seeing here is very much a third party situation in which your partner may be married, but they see you as their twin flame. 1111, the Seven of Swords is like sneaking around. The way they view you is, they view you as feeling as though that they betrayed you, okay? So the Ten of Wands energy is both of you coming to the conclusion that you have to give up the burden the way it has been presented. The Spirit of Swords energy is King of Swords. That's your energy, Aquarius. So it looks as though you basically are just giving up the ghost. You know, you're just, you do not want to be in a situation in which you feel compromised. When we look at the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Coins, your person wants this relationship. They want it very badly. They're coming in with, a, they have a lot of passion. They want to make a big offer to you. They see you as a person with whom they can have a long life. The Justice card can indicate divorce. The, the uh, justice card is the justice system. It can also indicate a marriage certificate. So what I'm seeing is that you're walking away from what you feel is a third party situation. Your person is walking towards you, Aquarius. So very interesting. Tiki torches, starry nights, exciting times. Your person feels as though you're the one for them. The justice card is the process they have to go through to get the relationship. But the energy right now that I see for you, Aquarius, is that both of you can only see each other on the internet. It doesn't look like you're talking currently, but you're sneaking around kind of looking at each other is the energy that I'm getting, trying to find each other, trying to bump into each other. It looks as though this relationship may have come apart at a, in a very practical way a period of time back. We get the tower card, so your relationship needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. Right now, there's no foundation standing. Spirit is saying, have a, have a new beginning. Take the leap of faith. Move forward with a lot of passion in your life, Aquarius. You have a lot going on for you. Your outcome is that ultimately, you know, even when you are in this page of wands energy, throwing caution to the winds, you have the opportunity to have a lifetime legacy marriage, ten of coins. So there's a lot of marriage energy here. However, I do feel like one relationship has to be ended and the next one has to start. And I feel Aquarius like your person was in the third party situation because they're the one that looks like they're sneaking around. Okay, so why do we have the Ten of Wands here twice? What burden did you have to give up? Closing out the cycle, neither one of you wanted to do it. It's just, it's like releasing the heaviness, like it becomes too much, it's overwhelming, you release it, but look at that, Three of Wands, Three of Wands energy, your person definitely feels as though you're the one for them, but the Three of Wands means that you've chosen each other, that in your heart space, the two of you have chosen each other. 
So why do we have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords here? Clarified by the Three of Swords. Why you're holding back. You're both holding back. It's mutual energy because of a third party situation. And it does look like it is a marriage. It looks as though both of you want a, leg a, mega a legacy, a legacy. Both of you want a legacy marriage to one another. But it looks like your person is in this breakup period with someone else. The five of coins. The two of you have to let things go for right now while this gets sorted out. The five of coins is being left in the cold because of a legacy marriage. That's your mutual energy. Again, it really speaks to the fact that it does not look like you have contact at the current time. The seven of swords is sneaking around, sneaking around a marriage situation. Your person has all the tools to manifest this. They want to win. They want to fight to win the relationship with you. Tell us what this person feels about their current marriage. What do they feel about their current marriage? Strength card. So your person knows that there's a lot to lose. The strength card says that they're not going to do anything quickly. It's a very kind of a heavy-handed, you know, it's a very fixed energy is what I would say. So when we look at this, we're getting this person manifesting and defending the relationship with you, but still in this energy that they're not really, they're not quite ready to leave. They just are not. They feel as though there's so much to lose here. And it looks like that's what made you walk away for those of you who are, you know, in that situation. For others of you, this can, port, this can be someone from the past or even someone in the future. The energy that you have in terms of your person sees you as feeling defeated, as feeling betrayed and the innocence of cups they want to offer a cup of love they want to tell you that they're invested what's your reaction to them at this point in time heart of pentacles queen of queen of uh, capricorn capricorn queen energy so you know you you want to make this work you clearly want to make it work the judgment card says that you have to release that's also the judgment of divorce you know, quite quite straightforward judgment of divorce. This person has to leave and make an, an ultimate decision to have you. The Nine of Wands reverse means you're not going to carry the burden with you. You're going to release it and let, you know, whatever will be, will be. Que sera, sera. You know that song for those of you who are aware of it. But what we have here is your Heart of Cups. The Heart of Cups is clarifying that your person is coming in as a Queen of Cups energy. They may be Cancerian. But your person is going to make you a major offer. That's usually a diamond ring with a Three of Cups. It's an engagement. Your person's coming in, though, to passionately make a major offer to you of love. The Three of Wands energy is repeated here. It speaks to the fact that your person is not giving up on the relationship with you. You may have given up. You may have taken a wait and see attitude. You may be like, you know, hey, I'm doing my life. You do you. I'll do me. But look at that. Your person is absolutely feels that you are the rock star in their life. They want to heal the relationship. That is the energy of hopes and dreams for love coming true. That is you, Aquarius. You are the star card. They see you as their romantic, perfect partner. And the Justice card speaks to, you know, whatever they have to do to make things fair and balanced in the relationship. And with the Justice and Judgment card having appeared now, I, I very much feel that there is, a real, there is a divorce in the making. So why is the Tower card here for you? It's about equal give and take. Both of you are just stalking each other on the Internet. Six of Swords, trying to heal your hearts, your respective hearts. Let's see what we have. Look at that, the blue heart. You both feel as though you feel really lonely without each other. That energy is, I mean, it really speaks to the fact also, Aquarius, that I think you are owed an apology here. What will, you, what will your person do about this apology? Heart of Swords. They will, they, you will get an apology that is, though, the Queen of Swords energy, Libra energy, 
head over heart, six of cups. Both of you want a reunion in this relationship. Why does spirit recommend throwing caution to the winds, taking the leap of faith in it to win it? The seven of swords. Why would being sneaky mean that you should be in it to win it? Ah, uh, okay. So spirit is saying, is actually giving you a recommendation that spirit's advice is that if your person does not take the leap, if they stay in the seven of swords, sneaky energy, that they need to make a decision. And so that is the advice of spirit. Take the leap only when they get out of the sneaky peak kind of energy. And you are twin flames. Four of Wands again appears. Your outcome is a legacy relationship. The movement of Wands, the innocence of Wands, I should say. I'm sorry. Throwing caution to the winds. Really, the willingness to divorce and remarry. And both of you are in it to win it. You both want this energy. Look at that temperance. You want to come back together as a couple. You want to make things work. And you want to leave the past behind. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. It's been a joy. I'm so glad you came to join me today. Thank you so much. Hoping to see you in another video. Take care. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.